Well, it appears the rumors are true, Cryptomaniacs. Bitmain has just released the Ant Miner E3 on the Bitmain website for sale. The price tag is 800 US dollars, and it will begin shipping the Ant Miners July 16th of this year. This has caused quite the stir in the Ethereum community. This is an ASIC mining hardware specifically designed for Ethereum. Today, we're going to be talking more about this Ant Miner ASICs versus GPU, and whether the Ant Miner E3 is actually even worth it but first let me send a shout out to all the champagne crypto maniacs out there kabooming in the crypto trenches all the baby bear cubs who are just entering the space welcome to champagne crypto the general make sure that you are kabooming the like and subscribes buttons right now if you are interested in receiving the good crypto word daily getting straight to it guys the ant miner why is it causing such a stir uh you'll see this posted down below a link to a subreddit thread titled, Can We Finally Agree to Fork to Kill the Ant Miner E3? Where many members of the Ethereum community are calling for a hard fork uh, of the Ethereum blockchain in order to block this uh, Ant Miner E3 and make Ethereum ASIC resistant again. Now, I have this other video posted down below, Ethereum Price Drop ASIC versus GPU Mining, where I discuss in further detail some of the pros and cons of ASIC versus GPU mining. But in a nutshell, these ASIC miners are hardware manufactured specifically to mine an individual algorithm. In the case of the E3, it's been designed specifically to mine the ET hash algorithm, which is for Ethereum, a power consumption of 800 watts and a hash rate of 800 mega hash. Now, this is more efficient than mining with a GPU unit. OK, and there it does uh, return higher yields for your mining. But the arguments within the community is that Bitmain has a monopoly in the manufacturing of these ASIC mining hardware units. And because of that, they want to make it ASIC resistant. The argument is that uh, if the company does not have a monopoly on the mining equipment, uh, the mining of the blockchain can be more decentralized. That's the argument. They don't want Bitmain to have a monopoly out there on these ASIC units. OK, and uh, people are calling to make the coin ASIC resistant. Now, I can see both sides of the argument on, on one, one side. Uh, people are, are, are happy uh, that these ASIC mining units are available, beca available because their uh, profit profitability could be higher. OK, than mining with GPUs. But on the other hand, others are saying that since Bitmain is the only manufacturer of these units, and in essence, they have a monopoly on the mining of whatever algorithm these ASIC miners choose to mine. Uh, that's the argument. Now, Champagne is going to ask a question that I haven't really been seen asked here on the threads. Why can't another company like NVIDIA or ASUS develop an ASIC mining? hardware equipment why can't they do it uh, you know i understand that right now bitmain is the only one basic making asic hardware but who's to say that nvidia or or uh, asus or any other company couldn't make uh a asic mining hardware and essentially uh add more to the decentralization of mining hardware that's my argument what, what's stopping them you know right now i see that bitmain does have a monopoly it seems like they're the only ones uh booming these machines out the door okay uh you know why can't uh nvidia or asics do this and you know what's stopping them you know i, I don't know that's a question i would like for you guys to respond to if you have an answer to there and share your thoughts down below uh, is this Ant Miner E3 even worth it, being that it's shipping in July 16th? Now, if the community has, decides to do a hard fork and uh, render this unit useless uh, by the time it ships, then you could be out of your investment. You could see down below uh, some of the terms for buying this batch is that there is they will not accept any requests for refunds for orders of this batch. So, you know, uh, you can't get a refund out there. And there's a limit of five miners per user. So you can only buy five at a time. And what's also interesting is that they only accept Bitcoin cash and USD wires uh, are accepted for this bat batch. Uh, interesting enough, they're not accepting Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies. They only want Bitcoin cash. That's an interesting uh, in its own right.
Uh, so is it worth to get this miner? I don't know. I, I really don't know. There's a strong possibility that Ethereum could just go ahead and fork their blockchain and render this machine useless. So by the time you get it, you may not be able to use it. OK. And the other hand, uh, they may decide to not fork the chain and this ant miner uh, could be worth it. OK. I, we just don't know. I don't have enough information. Uh, now, when it comes to GPU versus ASIC mining, I said this before, what is stopping a GPU company from making an ASIC miner and uh, increasing the competition in the marketplace? I don't know. Uh, is Bitmain the only one that can make ASIC miners? Uh, maybe right now they are, but you know, is it, you know, uh, could they stop any other company from making an ASIC miner? Could NVIDIA make one? Could ASIC make one? Uh, we don't know. Could ASUS make one? We don't know. Okay. Uh, and that's still a possibility now. And if that happens, you know, will ASIC mining take over and people just move on over from GPU to ASIC mining? We don't know. It's a question that we need to ask. You know, um, I think that th this is going to be a continuing. Uh, a continuing debate, OK, as quantum computing uh, comes closer and closer and, and uh, the hardware equipment keeps getting better and better. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, you're, you're basically uh, you're, you're chasing uh, hardware and technology. Uh, on the other hand, some people are saying that Ethereum, OK, is going to soon move over to proof of stake. Uh, the proof of stake uh, mining system will uh, be a lot more energy efficient. It doesn't require so much hardware. Uh, it, you know, it prioritizes those with a stake so those that have the actual coins are the ones that are going to get the the more rewards so arguably proof of stake is more energy efficient and uh it, it com combats some of these uh problems associated with asic and gpu mining okay so you know what do you think is pos better proof of stake better uh do you not care about the ASIC mining? Is this inevitable? Uh, do you want to make it ASIC resistance? What is your position? It seems like the majority of the community wants to make it ASIC resistant, okay? Uh, while the other uh, smaller half uh, is okay with the ant miners existent, it's a possibility they can go ahead and fork this. We saw something similar happen with Monero. Uh, Bitmain did create a, a machine i believe it's called the x3 that allows users to mine the crypto night algorithm which is the algorithm running monero monero was up in arms just like the ethereum community but i think that they've already decided to uh, fork the chain and uh, render that useless correct me if i'm wrong i think monero already decided to uh change their algorithm or, or modify their code to uh, continue to make Monero ASIC resistant. Will Ethereum do the same? And does this even matter in the long term as we get closer and closer to uh, quantum computing as uh, the possibility of other companies manufacturing ASIC devices uh, becomes more probable? OK, uh, drop a comment below. Let me know what's going on. Uh, do you plan on buying one of these ant miners? They're only eight hundred dollars, uh, you know, but this price may be a little deceiving because you also have to buy. Apparently, you got to buy a power supply that's one hundred and five dollars. And I read somewhere that if you are importing them uh, to, like, say, the United States, that there'll be some sort of an uh, import tax anywhere from 10 to 20 percent. So this could run you easily, you know, over a thousand dollars total cost. Uh, some people are saying that they're just going to go ahead and buy the ant miner so that they can resell them uh, uh, on eBay or Amazon. Uh, you know, that that could be a flip as well. I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I would like to hear your opinions. Uh, the purpose of this video is to open up the discussion. Uh, you know, it's important for the viewers and listeners to know that champagne is not a pro when it comes to crypto or mining. Uh, I'm simply stating my personal opinions and opening up the discussion so that we can learn more here in the comments. Each one teach one. It's how the crypto boomers do. Drop a comment below. It's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's biggest cousin, cryptography's finest, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in.